Okay, I bring you more gist. Of course, you know my name. A D S. Oshie Oya, take it. Okay. Election is around the corner. It is that time to hear ambiguous promises from our politicians. That time you see them come down to the grassroots to identify with the poor masses they forgot for the past four years. That's right. <laughs> That time you see them eating and drinking in public. Hmm? <laughs> Playing with children on the streets. Plating women hair. <laughs> Buying roadside commodities. Entering public transport. Selling by the roadside. Engaging in one funny activity or the other. <laughs> Just to appear appealing to the public to garner public votes. But before you fall for their tricks, ask yourself this question. Of what use has the government been to you as a citizen in this country? What use exactly? Let me make you understand this better. Government is supposed to provide you with the essential amenities of life, right? Do you enjoy any? Of course, the answer is a resounding no. Let me break it down a bit so you understand me. You build a house of your own. You tile the road leading to your own house by yourself. Because the road is bad. Abby? Then you buy a mechano generator to power your house because there is no light. Again, you sink borehole to get water for yourself and your household because there is no portable water anywhere. Now, whose responsibility is it to fix the rules in this country? Whose responsibility is it to provide electricity? Whose responsibility is it to provide water for the masses? The answer to all these questions is the government, Abby. They have failed to do it. Yet, they use them as campaign strategy. That's the annoying part. Please, so, oh, where in the world do politicians campaign with road, water, and electricity? Where? Answer me. These are the things that have been perfected several years ago in other countries. It is not even supposed to be a campaign strategy at all. This is life itself. Campaigns shouldn't be about giving you what is rightfully yours. It is about giving you the assurance for the future. The Americans will campaign and you will hear things like, I will make America great again. We will move from this technology to that technology. <laughs> we will strengthen our military force. There will be more incentive for social welfare. We will be cutting down or removing taxes for small-scale businesses. These are the things you will hear. But here, they will tell you they will give you electricity in megawatts. Whereas countries are already proposing and operating in gigawatts. <laughs> the thing is that we don't even care about megawatts or gigawatts. What we care about is other politicians make we just see light for Bob. That's all. We'll be okay. It's not too much to ask for now. I don't know if other countries watch our campaigns or even listen to our political debates. I don't know. If they do, I'm assuring you we are in laughing stock already. We need to fix this country. Before you cast your vote, please and please be fair to yourself as a Nigerian. Stomach infrastructure is not the way forward. How much can they give you? How much can they give you that won't finish in four years? Four years. How much can they give you that will not finish in four years? How much? Tell me. The policy is heated up already. When it's about that time to make that decision, please and please vote your conscience. Liberate yourself from another eight years of suffering. We can do this. Of course, yes, we can. Please remember to follow us on all our social media channels showing on your screen right now. Until I see you again, my name is A.
signing out.